another screencast for the engineering classes. This is going to be for my robotics and programming and for my intro to engineering class. Today we're going to be talking about 20% time and specifically focusing in on how to choose a skill or project that you're going to focus on for the next three months. Um, we'll start out with a quick review. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fivesquels.com or look for my email address at the end of this presentation. So let's continue on our journey here. All right, so remember, 20% time. This is where hopefully you were able to answer the questions in classroom um, that we talked about. And if not, well, you'll get the answers here. So 20% time. Remember, this is where I'm giving you 20%, about roughly about one day a week, to focus on something that you want to do, a like or an interest or a hobby or developing a skill that you want to know or learn more about. 20% time, remember, is only on Mondays. But remember, you are able to focus, on, you are able to do these outside of class. You are able, I encourage you to work on this during downtime or when you have time, you need, um, you need something, you're looking for something to do. Okay, so along with this. So as you're focusing in on today's topic, um, remember you're going to be looking at a hobby or area of interest, things you like to do. At the beginning of class, I had you write down um, you know, what your hobbies were, what you like to do on the computer. There was some purpose in that. I wanted to get to know you a little bit, but I also wanted to start you thinking about what do you like to do? What are your interests? Um, and what maybe what something you might want to learn more about. Um, and then from there, so we're going to talk about figuring out an area of interest. And then from there, we're going to talk about the skills and knowledge, um, what things you need to know to be able to do this. What do you want to focus on? What do you want to learn? And how do you take that information and help you turn it into a skill or project you're going to learn over the next three months? So to help you with that, I have put together a couple of graphic organizers. The first one looks like this. So you start out on the left-hand side and write down what are your hobbies, what are your likes, what are your interests, up to five. And some of you may think, well, I don't have five. Well, that's okay. You need at least three, though. You're going to have to do at least three. Okay, so as you think about this, what are things you like to do? What are your interests? What do you want to know more about? Then as you complete that, then think about two that you would like to select. Maybe look and focus on what can be done in three months. For example, if you want to learn how to do a bicycle kick in soccer, well, okay, that may be great. You may like soccer. It may be interest of you. Is it realistic you can do it in three months? Maybe you want to learn how to build a computer, or maybe you want to learn how to uh, 3D print a small building. Well, again, those are cool, those are interesting topics, but can they be done in three months? Think about things that you can complete in three months. From there, um, I'm going to encourage you to talk with, fear, with family, peers, um, maybe um, other adults that, you know, like a scoutmaster or a you know, Girl Scout leader, or maybe um, an aunt or an uncle or another teacher that can help you kind of decide why did you pick these two? Um, what was your focus? What was your thinking? And as you're talking about that, be thinking about you know, explaining the why. Why did you pick those two? What is it that attracts you to them? What do you like about them? What makes you want to learn more about them or what makes you want to spend some time getting more in depth into those projects? They can help you identify which one you're passionate about. And you know, sometimes that's the one that you really are interested in or that you talk the most about or you can um, explain why you want to get into that. Okay? And it's not that you may not like the other one or the other, but they'll help you be able to identify one that you want to focus on. From there, we're going to talk about what do you know about that topic? What do you know about that subject? Um, what's your background information? Um, do you already, what do you already know? And this may be the easiest one to do. Um, you know, and you could list a lot about it. For example, let's say I'm talking about 3D printing and I want to learn more about 3D printing. Well, I know I need a printer. I know I don't know much about it. I know you can print, print out in plastic and I know that you need a program to do it. Well, okay, that's a, that may be about all that you know. Well, skills that you need to do or tasks you need to do. Well, uh, I went online and looked at 3D printing and they said I needed something called a CAD or a CAD program, okay? Um, I know that I don't know how to 3D print. Well, okay, that's a good thing. Um, I might need to, I might need a printer or, um, and then, okay, so that's a good list. That's a good starting list. Um, don't be afraid if you don't know a lot. Um, 
but try to get some things down, even if they're very basic things. And then think about how are you going to know that you're successful? How do you know that you finished the skill? For me, I've printed something out or I have created a box. The more specific or detailed you can get this, don't just say, I printed something. That, you know, yeah, if you print something, you've completed the task, but the more specific you can make it, like I printed a box or I printed a five centimeter by two centimeter um, Pokemon figure, then that, that specificity um, will kind of help you as we get into more in depth into the skills and things like that. Okay, so as I want to show you an example of what I have, the one I have done. So as I did mine, I thought about pro I, likes or interests. I have an interest in programming. I love to landscape. I love to get out in the yard and work in the yard. I enjoy building things. I've been building things since I was a little kid. I started out with Legos. I started working with woodworking, um, nailing things together and gluing things and building things. I enjoyed my shop class. Um, I was I like playing games on my Xbox and I enjoy reading sci-fi and fantasy novels. So I'm thinking about what can I do in three months. Well, given three months, I could probably program something and I can probably build a lot of things in three months. So there's my two that I'm somewhat passionate about. And then I went and I talked with my family about this. I talked with my wife specifically. And one of the things that she found was that I was very passionate about both of these. Um, and I've been talking about a program that I've been thinking about testing out um, that allows me to print. It's a, a programming language that allows you to 3D print, create 3D objects and stuff like that um, called BlocksCAD. And she says, why don't you put those two together? And that's what I did, is I said, okay, learning to program in CAD. And you know what, I think I may have spelled program wrong, but that's okay. Um, we'll see here. So as I went through, I looked at what do I know? And you'll see my list is pretty, um, pretty extensive. I don't expect yours to look as quite as big as this, but I have a basic programming knowledge. Um, I know Lego programming, which is a Blockly type language. I've done a little bit of programming in C++. I've played around with Scratch, which is another block, Blockly type language. I've got, I'm very familiar with Blockly type languages in general. Um, I also am very familiar with these two CAD type programs. So I've, I've got some ideas of, I've got some, a little bit of background knowledge. Um, what I need to look at is, so things I need to do, find a Blockly type CAD program. And I already have one in mind, but there, maybe there's a better one. Maybe there's some other ones out there. Um, I need to make sure that it works on the computer I have. So again, it doesn't necessarily need to be skills or things you can do. It, it, it's things that can be done. I need to make sure it works on the computer. Um, I need to learn the language. I need to find some tutorials about it. Um, maybe I need to take a class. Maybe I need to find some YouTube videos. Um, and then I need to take to these tutorials. We're going to build this list as we go. Um, and you may find that you need to add to this list, but that's okay if it's basic. If you have two or three things here, that's good. If you have three, four, five plus things here. Now the output. Um, I know that print out a tutorial, print out tutorial projects and get some feedback from people. Did I, did they go well? Did they, do they look like the object that was in the, in the tutorial that I found? Um, and then I think I'm going to put together a box and maybe a, a dice, some dice. Um, and I left a question mark here because I might find as I'm looking more in my research, that there's something better I can that will tell me that. So these are just this is my example. Um, the activity you're going to be doing with this is you're going to go back to slides, um, this slide and this slide, and you're going to start putting together this activity. This is going to be due. Uh, very rarely do I do this, but it's going to be due on the day after, so on Tuesday, um, so that I can start going through and getting some ideas and knowing how I can help guide you. Uh, in a couple weeks because uh, 20% time is not going to happen um, while we're on break. All right, so again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com and good luck.